My name is Artem and today I will be talking about how to test accessibility with uh, test trigger. So first of all, what is accessibility? Accessibility is uh, basically how page your pages behave for people who have limited uh, vision or legally blind uh, or deaf or something like that. So basically, it uh, it uh, does certain uh, s list of validations to help you to understand uh, if your pages are accessible for people for this kind of uh, with this kind of disabilities. Uh, it is uh, called ADA, and it is uh, required by law for certain organizations. If you are one of those organizations that uh, might be an interesting demo for you. In the previous video, we have created a test for Salesforce, like logging, go to lead page, uh, create a lead, which uh, in test trigger is basically uh, the steps in plain English where you specify what exactly needs to be done, uh, which uh, succeeded and we didn't have, we didn't enable accessibility. Uh, now let's enable accessibility testing and uh, error reporting. This is uh, where we want to go. And we want to say report all errors. And we want to say, yes, I want to treat my accessibility errors as uh, uh, which are critical level as blockers. I want to take it very seriously. So basically, we'll get all the errors and map the uh, uh, level to test trigger. Let's save that. And that is it. This is all you need to do. After that, next time you rerun the test, let's do that. Uh, the test will automatically run accessibility testing. It'll take a little bit longer time. So here, as you can see, it previously took one minute in three seconds uh, but because we will be running accessibility it will take longer uh, as uh, you can see here you get accessibility errors here on every single page so there is a way to uh, basically see accessibility errors uh, per page specifically like there is accessibility errors uh, page for for this specific landing page in here so you can open it in a new page and this is this page is a login uh, salesforce.com you can go to the page if you'd like so this is uh, specifically what uh, um, browser had been used in this particular uh, example and these are violations so this is a level and uh, this is where uh, it is uh, it is located and um, this is a link to understand what is the issue exactly uh, so there is uh, whereas for example for uh, this issue ensures all page content is contained by landmarks uh, there are multiple examples uh, here um, on the page anyway so i'll close that for now um, and uh, as you can see it took about 50% uh, longer, almost 50% longer to execute. It was 1 minute 26 seconds instead of 1 minute and 3 seconds. And uh, we have found 20 unique issues. As you can see here, the trigger has uh, a very helpful feature where it uh, groups multiple occurrences uh, into one unique issue. That also applies if it spans over more than one test. In our particular case, there is just only one test total. So therefore, it will always be one, but if we, that it would affect multiple tests, it would show multiple tests. Now, uh, this, is, uh, this is an example ensures uh, viewport does not uh, disable text scaling and zooming. We expand that. There are steps to reproduce in here. All right, and uh, then you can click on details uh, button in here 
and that you'll be able to quickly see details for this specific issue and uh, all the elements which are affected and if you want to learn more you can click on zooming and scaling in here uh, and voila like there is uh, there is a, a description of what's going on the trigger uses X core and uh, we will just uh, link you to uh, Xcore documentation with uh, description of what what's going on, why it is an issue, and why it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so this is how easy it is to run accessibility testing with uh, Test Trigger, and uh, Test Trigger uses Xcore library which claims to cover 85% of all accessibility issues. And it is as simple as just enabling accessibility testing in documentation. In this particular case, all those issues were marked as blockers because we uh, uh, requested it like that in the settings. However, you can uh, all treat them all as lower level issues um and map uh, issues in xcore to uh, test trigger uh, levels for issues the way you'd like thank you very much and have a great day